Einstein's Relativity 1. Contradiction in Principle. The contradiction in special relativity presents itself in Einstein's principle, which suggests that the velocity of light from one source is not relative to various speeds of objects and observers. The closer an object or observer is, the sooner the oncoming light will arrive. The more time it takes for an oncoming light to arrive, the farther away the receiver is. We all agree that light's velocity is approximately 300,000 kilometers relative to one second. If the receiver is 300,000 kilometers away, it will take one second for the light to reach the receiver. If the receiver is moving towards the light during that second, it will take the light less time to arrive at the receiver. If it takes less time for the light to reach the receiver, that was one second away, less than a second ago. That means light speed is relative to the moving observer. Special and general relativity are predicated on the principle that velocity isn't always relative, specifically regarding the velocity of light. In the absence of relative motion, there is no velocity. At any point in time, there is no velocity. Special and general relativity are predicated on the principle that velocity isn't always relative, specifically regarding the velocity of light. The nature of the subject or object is not relative to its velocity. In the absence of relative motion, there is no velocity. At any point in time, there is no velocity. If two points in space are changing position with respect to each other, they can be separating at the rate of one mile per hour or a million miles per second with respect to each other. This is a mathematical fact. There is no contradiction in these terms or numbers. It is the nature of numbers. If light takes longer to reach a receiver that is farther, then it will get to the receiver more rapidly if the receiver is moving towards the light source. This is the scope of all relativity. In view of the fundamental contradiction in Einstein's principle regarding the relative speed of light, all extrapolations based on this principle are dubious. Failure to detect relative light speed is the result of false assumption about the method of measuring light speed. We already have Einstein's relativity and it's well documented. If we are trying to understand Einstein's relativity, we need to know when we diverge. If we are considering alternatives, then inconsistency with Einstein's relativity is inevitable. We are warned against common sense and intuitive thinking, but for one transient 90 minutes, let me show you how the factors of relativity look using intuition sensation and observation. The following set of video essays will examine these assumptions. These video essays will reference video lectures of established physics teachers. The later videos explore the sociology of relativity and the nature of inertia, gravity, acceleration, unencumbered by Einstein's principle. Runzi Tsao presents videos that are consistent with my videos. At the end of this video I provide a link to Runzi Tsao. Thank you.